it's time for Scotland, cry, cry, Scotland, for your time has come. Those of you in other nations, start praying for Scotland, because some of you are probably closer than, than I am to that nation. But begin to pray, pray for Scotland. Hallelujah. I believe the Lord is targeting Scotland for revival. But he said this, he said it's a spiritual ground. For the ground cries for revival, for the seed sown centuries ago. Then he said, look for an event to happen in Scotland, but don't judge by this event because I have revival in mind for Scotland. So whatever event, significant thing that's going to happen in Scotland, he said, don't judge what I'm going to do there by it. So if it's something that's not so good, don't judge that. Because he said, I have revival in his mind for Scotland. These are the crumpled carriages of the 638 from Aberdeen to Glasgow. After a night of heavy rainfall and flash floods hitting the northeast of Scotland, this morning's train derailed and overturned just west of Stonehaven. It was only a short distance into its journey when it crashed. The billowing smoke from the engines alerted a passerby and British Transport Police were called to the line here just before 10. This is what they arrived to find. Very sadly, despite the best efforts of paramedics, we can confirm that three people have been pronounced dead at the scene. While formal identification is yet to take place, the driver of the train is very sadly believed to have died. His family have been informed and are being supported by specially trained family liaison officers. Officers are continuing to work to inform the families of other two people who sadly died. Six people have been taken to hospital to be treated for injuries, which thankfully are not believed to be serious. This is a tragic incident, and first and foremost, our thoughts are with the families and friends of those who have very sadly died this morning.